Thanks, Don't yell caller. at people. Thanks. We're, unfortunately, we're, our phones are messed up this morning, so it may be a little disjointed. But anyway, Michelle Malkin, you want to answer? What, what he didn't, Chris Matthews didn't let me finish when I brought up the names uh, Patrick Runyon and William Zaldonis. They're mentioned in the book as, as, as having um, made statements that question whether or not there was enemy fire or not, and um, um, that it was inconclusive how uh, one of uh, John Kerry's shrapnel wounds was, was received because they couldn't remember or, or, or hadn't seen whether or not there was enemy fire. That's what I was trying to say. Again, he interrupted me, so I couldn't finish saying it. So when you say you should bring facts to the table, well, I was trying to do that. Another call. Let's go this time to Manassas, Virginia, a George Bush supporter. Uh, can you hear me there? Yes, sir. Okay, yeah, once again, uh, we can't hear you except for on the two, so I'll lower it. Uh, Michelle, I was watching Hardball last night. I was so disgusted on how Chris Matthews acted. I, as, as a man, I want to apologize. I was just, I, I was just incensed. You came to talk about your book, and he all he was doing, he was trying to draw you out to make it sound like you're saying things that you were not saying. And I just, it was just disgusting. It was another reason why I, I have a hard time ever watching him. And, um, you know, the comparison with Fox News and everything else, forget about it. Just take that one issue of him talking with you. He was like a, a rabid dog. It was just, it was, it was appalling, and I apologize. All right, Carl, thank you. Let's go to Cleveland, Ohio next. You're on the air, Cleveland. Hello, Cleveland. I'm calling about you being on Chris Matthews' show. This reminds me of how does you, you feel when Hannity and Combs, you're always on Fox, and Hannity does the same thing to his guests, and so does Bill O'Reilly. Now that you've got that treatment, how do you think their guests feel? You are a conservative. You're always on Fox. You always take their sides. You need to get your facts straight, young lady. What a, does she have a point about the other hosts that she mentioned on Fox? Um, as I said, um, I don't have a problem with aggressive debating tactics. And there may be instances where guests felt that they were unfairly treated, uh, roughly treated. Um, but I would say that in my own experience and from what I've, I've watched on, on Fox News, I have never seen... Um, treatment like what I received on, on hardball and I guess her, her the, the caller's message is that it's you know tit for tat and, and I have never seen I. that in Bill O'Reilly or Sean Hannity well uh, look I've seen them be rude I've seen them be aggressive um, and being rude and aggressive is is within the bounds of uh, uh, acceptable cable TV debate How about telling but, somebody to shut up um, I, I don't think that's a good idea I personally wouldn't do it myself. I don't. I mean, think if somebody told idea. you to shut up on a program like this, what would you do? Um, I would fight back. I wouldn't walk off the set, as, as some Why not? some some readers have suggested I do. I, but a lot of these emails are telling you you should have walked know, off the set. Last I night. know they are, but um, I guess I was just taught better manners. Let's go to Tulsa, Oklahoma. You're on the air. Go ahead, please. Hi, Michelle. Hello. I watched Hardball last night until he started in on you, just like. Al Gore or Howard Dean or Michael Moore or Al Franken. He sounded just like them, just like liberals. And I had to turn him off, and he got, he got to give a whole hour just to apologize to you that I won't be watching him more, so I wouldn't see it if he did. Just, Thanks, you know, caller. Seriously talk about him. Thanks for calling. You know, uh, it's been proven that the, sh the shouting thing pays off in the ratings because the people who have done the shouting get better ratings. Let me just say, in general, that this is why I'm an ink-stained wretch. Um, I'm a writer first, always will be, and um, it's always been a dilemma doing TV because you have to deal with, with these kinds of things, and it was just a, an extreme version that happened on, on Hardball. But I was also recently on Bill Maher's show, um, Real Time, on HBO, and, um, and I was treated very roughly, but I have to say that uh, Bill Maher was a gentleman uh, compared to compared to Chris Matthews. What did Mr. Matthews say to you when uh, the program was over? Well, it was quite interesting, and I relate this on my blog. Um, basically, he, uh, you know, he said that uh, you're done um, at the end of that uh, one segment. Um, I walked off the set, and one of his producers or staff members ran to the office where I had left my copy of Unfit for Command, and they were flipping through it, trying to find whether or not what Chris Matthews said was true. And my comment on that uh, on my blog was, and he's calling me irresponsible? 
he had, admits he never read the book. He was frantically looking for whether or not he said uh, what was true, uh, what he said was true. And, um, and so I asked for my book back. I said thank you, and I left. Sydney Maine, you're on the air, Sydney. Yes, good morning. Um, I want to thank you guys, C SPAN, for being an honest uh, news media, and also Michelle for standing up for these guys. Um, I saw them on C SPAN back in April, the uh, Swift Bow Vets, and I can't believe that uh, uh, the Kerry campaign is slamming these guys. I can't believe that they would come on, all of them, most of them, who were on the show, and. Um, we're just telling them they wanted to get their story out. That, uh, and they were very upset about it. Some of these guys were actually crying on television. I can't believe that, that these guys would come out and actually come on television um, and come across the country to just tell the truth so that everybody knows that uh, what this guy's doing. I mean, I lived in Massachusetts, and I'll tell you what, I, I can't see how anybody would think that this man, John Kerry, is going to actually go out and... Uh, lead our nation. All right, Carter, thanks.